Hey Virgo, this is Mupai doing your love reading for July 2021. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Um, if you guys would like to get daily Virgo uploaded readings, go to my other channel, House of Virgo, here on YouTube. The link is in the description box below, um, where I upload every day a Virgo reading, Virgos only, okay? Um, please do hit like, share, subscribe on this video if you enjoy it. Um, I'm doing this for the month of July, um, so I have to take a little break from the 10 days um, for now. So let's just see what the messages are here. Um, the box in the description box below, I mean the link in the description box below, contains um, a way for you to get a personal reading from me so you can book that any kind of personal reading it's one hour phone call readings all right virgo all right past position betrayal a giving up a sense of uh, loss surrender mm. might have been like a um, painful ending somebody hitting rock bottom in the past here you another person something ended present it's the moon not being sure what happened <clears throat> Virgo I feel like you're like in this position right now you're like what the heck maybe your emotions are suppressed you're not feeling things you're not you like a little bit of emotion but you're not really sure I feel like for something in the past it ended you, you don't really know what happened or you're just still trying to wrap your head around it maybe you're not trying to let your emotions come up um, trying to trust your intuition, but yet trying to look at the facts. You may feel like you were deceived in some way or there were some problems that you just weren't able to see. You're questioning. You're questioning. Questioning yourself, questioning this, this ending from the past. All right, what's the challenge here? <laughs> You want to like seek answers. You want to get the truth. Knight of Swords. Okay. You want to know what changed. You want to know what happened. Something happened. Something changed. You want to communicate. You want like there's a challenge here for you to do that. There's a challenge here for you. It's an obstacle. You may need to. You may need to question. You may need to start talking or trying to ask questions to find out what happened. I just kind of feel with this moon card that you are a, a lot in the dark. You were left in the cold, left in the dark. I was driving this reading. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords. You're seeking truth. Okay. You might be spying, trying to find out. Um, you're very curious you're trying to get some answers here about something that why what you didn't see what did you miss I hear you're saying what did you miss okay the king of wands crowning the reading Aries Leo Sagittarius we have Pisces as well um, this could be about somebody you you were connecting with this this fire energy and they don't have to be a fire sign but it would be someone that has that boldness or, or that you view them or maybe you thought that this person was very bold and above board but you're confused that moon is deception were you deceived you're not sure i feel like some of you just kind of like something ended and you just don't know why in the something ended in in the past and you just are still trying to figure out what happened i don't know that you're dwelling on it but it is showing up in your reading so it, it's, it might still be a prominent factor in your life okay just trying to seek the truth just trying to get either closure or clarity from this person you have this person on your mind near future okay I feel like you get your answer. Six of Wands is here. You get good news. You get some recognition. 
some of you might find a way like you should know that this knight of swords it does sit in the obstacle position but it also sits in the position of the benefit and it would benefit you to ask questions it would benefit you to seek the clarity and to ask and to find out somehow one way or another to communicate maybe send a message or something or you know i always used to say back in the day that this is my like mailman card <laughs> like my postal you know wherever you are postman um but you have the six of wands here virgo so you are going to get recognition the recognition that you want that you need going forward about something that happened here you know even if you're still with this person then maybe they didn't fully give you the truth and you're curious you want to know you know even if it didn't end but there was some kind of betrayal in the past you want to know and you find out Your advice? Hmm. <laughs> Who can advise the Seven of Swords? Don't run away, but your advice here, you may need to do a little detective work. You may need to find a sly way to get the information that you want or need. Hmm. And that might then bring you that victory that you want, that truth comes out, okay? You need to take a look at the sneaky behavior or um, the betrayal. How can I say this? It's something, there's something behind the scenes that you need to, that's going on that you need to find out, right? Is it negative? No, it's just hidden. And you also need to take a look at why is something being hidden? Is this person someone that is like that, like sneaky? This might not be somebody you're currently involved with right now, Virgo. This could be somebody else. This could be a friend, you know, or a family member. It doesn't always have to be romantic, but there's something, there's a message here for somebody where you're on a mission to seek some kind of truth. Now, whoever this person is here, they have the Two of Pentacles and Strength. Hmm. So I feel like your person had two, another option that you may have suspected, but they, maybe they didn't tell you or, you know, now another option doesn't have to be another person. It could have been something else, but um, this is a card of weighing options here, I'm trying to make a decision and trying to keep things steady. But as you can see, the water back here is very tumultuous. And with that strength card here, I feel like this person didn't have the courage to tell you that they were doing something. Um, that they were doing something behind the scenes that they they didn't want you to know about. Is it cheating? No, I don't think so. Because I don't have the Three of Swords here. But it was something that they just didn't want you to know about. I mean, I don't mean like infidelity i don't see that it's just some hidden energy because that's sitting here at the center of your reading with the moon there's some hidden energy that this person was just trying to like i felt like they were just trying to like you know show you that everything was fine and give you this like you know show like watch me juggle a distraction that's what i feel like is a distraction here it took all their strength. It's taking all their strength to be able to just put up, keep some kind of facade going so that you wouldn't find something out. Hopes and fears. Mm. Ten of Wands. Well, you're definitely hoping this is the end of it, like this struggle. You want to come to the end of this struggle. You've been, you know, Virgo, you've been carrying such a heavy burden for so long with this person. Um, one to 10 years or one to 10 weeks, heavy burden. 
and it, you just want to come to the end of it. You just want the truth about something because you feel like there's some sneaky behavior going on here. You know, this sits in the position of you. <laughs> and there's the emperor. And if you follow my other channel, <laughs> when I do Virgo reads on my other channel, House of Virgo, the emperor's in every single reading. So that's Aries energy. This might have something to do connected to a father figure um, or father. You feel like somebody was disrespecting you. about something or being sneaky with something. Hmm. Now, for some, maybe this person had another marriage. I'll say that. It feels to me like they were um, trying to conform and to keep putting effort into the relationship. What the heck was I have to I have to see here? There was something also here to do with a father or another male in their life. Let me see this ten of swords. What is this ten of swords? Oh, look, the five of swords here. Some of you cut the relationship off in the past because there was abuse. I have to say that. Some of you, you did. You shut it down. But it was sneaky, like sneaky kind of abuse of some sort. Yeah, you took a separation and walked away from this. Or you both did, had some kind of breakup and just like separated and then came back together, I feel. And then it's like, oh, but there wasn't enough information maybe to try to continue this relationship. There's a the King of Pentacles. The outcome. Six of Swords. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Um, hmm. You know, I don't know. I don't know if there was like another relationship. There was something here to do with brothers. And a father for some of you. There might be some issues. You might have some issues with your father or with your brothers. Um, it could could be something going on with your partner and their brother. Hmm. Your 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 person I just heard I just heard something to do with competition. There was some type of competition with a brother that uh cause this person to need to be in a position of like a winning type of position here because the card before this is the five of wands which is always a card about competition sport challenges obstacles right and this is someone who wins against all of that i feel like you've got somebody this person it's very strange i don't know who they are in connection to you but this person They had competitiveness. Maybe they were competing with you. Sneaky, sneaky ways. This sounds like such a deep psychological reading here, but you know, it, yeah, I feel like this person's getting away from that. They're getting away from that energy. Starting a new chapter in their life, a new beginning, a new start here. It's very, very bizarre. There's something here, you know, I, again, like, I don't feel like it was infidelity. I don't feel like there was cheating. I feel like it had something to do with a family member or a friend or a, a parent. Let's see what this love message is here. Let go of control issues. This person, whoever you were dealing with, very hardcore control issues. Very hardcore. And I feel like now they're just trying to leave it all behind. Like, let go of whatever this, uh, how, whatever the influence was. 
because we have two kings sitting up here whatever that influence was with this person or whatever that other person had this influence on your person um, a lot of competition and control you know this is a card of like shut out like somebody here has to sh always trying to shut another person out to be the victor and i feel like you are we're kind of blindsided and you're trying to get the truth about something i don't know how this is affecting you or your relationship or your connection or your other relationships in your life for some of you this could be related to you it could have been a family member or a sibling influenced by a father or them okay very soon clear to decide what you want so that it comes to you now i feel like virgo you have a decision to make here i mean because i feel like this person they have such a strong need to win at all costs at no matter what and i feel like that even includes you it's all about power and control and i feel like you're in this position where you you're like i don't even know i don't know that you even want an emotional connection because there's no cup energy here <laughs> there's no cups it's power control money Abuse of power. And I, I do feel like this your person is like trying to get away from this, but you have a decision you have to make. And that's to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. How, how does that resonate for you? Because you're being asked here to like put yourself first. I feel like you've been on the butt end of something in regards to family members or a lover or you know in a relationship and you're just on this path of like truth seeking trying to figure out like what is going on what had happened in our connection in our relationship why did something end why was it why was there cut off here who was this influencer in this connection It feels, I just heard um, them, somebody saying, I just don't want you in my business. Just stay out of my business. Harsh, harsh energy. I don't wanna tell you everything that's going on. <laughs> Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Oh my goodness. Some of you are just like, okay, that's what the truth is here. Your person has some control issues. That's the truth. If we're, they were to open up and reveal what was really going on inside, then they lose power. So your person has some power control issues, okay? Which I feel had, took a really big toll in this relationship. And they probably were controlling you in a lot of ways as well because of some competition of some sort or something that they just need to be the best all the time at the expense of others. And you were more so just looking for someone who was, you know, above board and a good leader. But um, this sneaky energy here, I'm telling you now, some, you guys, something to do with this person's father, whether that father is still present today or somewhere else. I just want to get a charm. fluffy white clouds <laughs> i feel like okay virgo your no your head is no longer in the clouds anymore in regards to this relationship okay there's definitely going to be some type of engagement or commitment but i see you right now trying to seek out some truth here what are you dealing with what is going on some of you might just be to see here's the decision right here very soon clearly decide are you just going to go off on your own love yourself first Gain your dignity back and do what you need to do for you? Or are you going to make a decision to um, commit in this relationship? But those clouds 
are signifying mostly like get your head out of the clouds about this about this situation and make a decision about what you want i'm just shocked that there's no cup energy here i can't even believe it you know and try to do except for the eight of cups in the past which is like temporary like a separation separating a shut off a cut out a break let's get a couple of um I can't pick them up. <laughs> what does this person want to tell you? I never want to feel that way again. Okay. So I, do, I definitely feel like there's a change happening here because that's the world. Out with the old, in with the new. Trying to start over, facing their fears. Leaving you hurt me too. I don't feel like this person wanted to leave you. They might have been influenced in some way for your connection not to work. Or sh they sh you shouldn't, you both shouldn't be together. Like, it's what are we, in high school? There's some type of restrictions and control. I hope I will see you again sometime. I do wish you well. That's if you decide to leave. Virgo, I feel like this person will try to wish you well. I hope you're happy for me. That goes that way over here. But I feel like your person just... They don't like where they've been in their life. It's left them extremely unfulfilled. They really don't know what to say. Of course not. Because now they have to speak for themselves. This person may have had this energy of where they had to um, say what they were told. Which is very bizarre. They had to, you know, I don't know if they were told what to say. Or they were just, they had to follow some kind of conformity. Because that's what the Hierophant is, is. Conformity. Not rebel against family, the system, anyone. Just work. Make that money. Let's see. Get a couple of cards here. Struggle, challenge, competition. Five of Wands. That's what I said. There's some type of competition. This person put that first before everything and anything else. Competition. Have to be number one. Have to be the best. Have to be the victor. Have to have the reward, the recognition. Um, that, that was more important. Have to be like successful. And I feel like you're going to come to the truth about this. This person was non-committal because of that. Could not commit because of that. It had to be like maintain a certain level in their life about things here. Let me just ask a couple of, I just want to ask, is, is there going to be like a reconciliation or love? Because I do see, um, I do see engagement here. So... Please, Spirit, show us what the love energy is. Why are there no cups here except for the Eight of Cups, which is just a card of separation? What are they giving me here? There's the King of Wands again. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There, there you go. This person is, listen, Virgo, this isn't your battle to fight. Let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. This is not your battle to fight, nothing to do with you. This has to do with your person and somebody else, okay? And I feel like your person truly does love you. And I do feel like they, they will be trying to come in and reconcile it and give that, you know, that, that emotional connection that you want and that you need, and even an apology from them. But at this like present time, because I do feel like they're going to overcome their fears, face their fears, and try to make a change in their life going forward. You know, this is like completing a goal or learning the lesson. That they were living in a fear-based thing, fear-based situation. Maybe the influence of a father or a parent or family dynamic. But I do see some type of reconciliation here, children, 
Okay, and then we end with the Eight of Cups, this person walking away from all that negative energy here and going to find that Ninth Cup, which is the Cup of Contentment and Wishes. You're a wish come true for them. They know it. They knew it. It just feels like for them, they had such a heavy influence from others in their life. And it feels like that got in the way. I want to feel that way again now. At first, I never want to feel that way again. And with you, they want to feel that joy again. It's very interesting. My life is not as together as it seems, see? Try something you've never done before. I will wait for a sign from you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I'm starting to understand our connection. Very beautiful. I hide behind material things. Got to be the best. Got to be the best. Got to be the best. Money, money, money. Work, work, work. We will be together again. They want to have children. For some of you, they want to have children or a child. So many things remind me of you. Virgo, they've never let you go. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Very nice. I mean, listen, I know this started tough. It really did, Virgo, and I'm sorry. But I feel like your person, um, I do feel like they love you. I do. I just feel like they had to be in a particular sector in their life first before they could have that loving thing and it felt deceptive and deceitful for you and you've been trying to figure out if something ended or whatever happened what the heck was going on you like you're on a quest for truth virgo you just want that clarity and i believe you're going to get it i do but then it's going to be your decision to just hit take up your sword and just go out in the world and just be loving yourself and forget them or agree to come into some type of committed relationship with them going forward because I feel like they're going to try. They are going to try to reconcile and bring that love back in your direction. So if you want it, you want it. If you don't, then you don't. Okay, Virgo. So that's your reading for the month of July. I hope that that was helpful. Again, go over to House of Virgo, check out your daily readings, and I'll see you in August. All right, Virgo, take care.